Hi everyone, let's talk about the Study Design tab. This tab can be accessed from the main window in the My Studies tab whenever you double click on a study. So this is that first tab that pops up, first one on the list when you are inside of a study. And what this is going to show you is all of the tasks, blocks, sessions, and groups currently in your study, and it will allow you to create new ones. So to create a new task in this tab, you just click new task, or you can click import task, which will pop up with a list of all of your other studies, and you can click on one and import one of the tasks that is already in that study just by clicking and then hitting OK. New task, you just click this button here and you can start with either a canvas or a page frame and name your task. Once you have a bunch of tasks created, you can reorganize them, um, which doesn't affect the order of your study, it just affects the order that you see them by clicking and dragging around in the column. As you can see, they're shuffling around a bit. Now remember that if you don't assign a task to a block, it will not get shown in your study. So right now I have two blocks. This one has task one. Block number two has tasks two, three, and four. But as you can see, I have five and six here. And since those are not assigned to a block, they will not be shown to participants. So um, just make sure that if you have a task, that has to be assigned to a block. So once you have your blocks here, you can control the order that the tasks are shown to participants. So if I want every participant to see block one or task one first, and then two, three, and four in a random order, I can do that um, by putting them in block two, and I can either click this gear icon and set the order to random or fixed, or I can add randomization separators, which you just click add here and you can arrange them however you like. So just know that um, whatever tasks are inside the separators are the ones that are going to be randomized. So let's say I want to show task one and then tasks two and three, um, either two and three or three and two in whatever order. And then everyone sees task four last. I can do that with these separators. So that's how to randomize the tasks in the blocks. And then going over to this third column, every block that you want to be shown must be assigned to a session. Right now, I have this set up to be a longitudinal study because I have two sessions. Um, so typically, you'll only have one session per um, group unless you are in a longit longitudinal study, which means that um, everyone in group one does session one first. And then at a later time, which can be set with this little clock icon here, um, they will do session two. So you can go through all of these options. You can pick the day and the time. You can click specific times here, um, and then you can change the interval um, of when they can start the next session. Or you can say, you know, depending on the former session, you have to wait so many days, hours, minutes before starting the next one. If you are not doing a longitudinal study, but you do have several different groups, um, whether based on counterbalancing or maybe you want, you know, all males in this group, all females in this group, all non-binary in a third group, you could do something like that um, just by creating new groups and adding different sessions to those groups. So let's say I want, you know, block one is going to be session one, group one is only going to do session one. And then I want group two, which is a different demographic, to do session two, which right now is just block two. I can do that in this way. And then let's say group three is going to do session one again, but it's a different demographic because I want them separated for whatever reason. Um, so this is kind of your first step in randomization is determining who is going to see what. And this is all within the study design tab. I hope this video was helpful.